Ashing, will you take us through what happened last night? Yes, well, Colette, first to say that the PSNI confirming just before 12 o'clock today that three men have been arrested in connection with this shooting that occurred last night. Those men aged 38, 45 and 47. They were arrested in Oma and Coal Island. The attempted murder took place here last night in the sports complex that you can see behind me. Detective Chief Inspector John Caldwell was here. He was taking part in soccer training and he was putting soccer balls into the boot of his car when and two gunmen approached him and opened fire. Detective Caldwell's young son was with him at the time. PSNI saying this morning that he managed to try and move a certain distance from where his car was parked as shots continued to be fired on him. He then collapsed a short distance away from the car park. There was a lot of children here at the time, a lot of parents coming to collect their children, doing what would be normal in communities right across the country in the evening, children attending sports training on a Wednesday evening. Some of the people here attended to Mr Caldwell, giving him some medical assistance before the emergency services arrived. Now, this shooting has been condemned right across both borders um, by all political parties. The president, Michael D. Higgins, issuing a statement this morning and the Thonish, the Micheál Martin, saying this morning that we cannot and we will not tolerate violence like this. Uh, the PS and I have indicated their view that it's so-called Republicans uh, is their primary focus of inquiry. Obviously, we have to wait for the developments in that respect. Uh, but there can be no toleration uh, for acts uh, of this kind. Um, and I know people across this island will be absolutely appalled uh, at the nature of the attack on, on this man who did a lot for uh, and continues to, to do for his community. Uh, and. Um, uh, there, can be, there can be no tolerance for this uh, at all, and I know on Garda Shikana will work with the PSNI to do everything possible to make sure that the perpetrators of this crime uh, are brought to justice. Now, Angorda Shiakona said they stepped up their policing at the border last night following this shooting, but things have returned to normal this morning for members of Angorda Shiakona. Those three arrests taking place this morning in Oma and Coal Island. The senior officer underwent surgery last night. Today, he said to be in a critical but stable condition. All right, Ashling, thank you for all of that.